Junior Lights final about to get up underway. This is pretty exciting stuff, these Junior Lights stuff, huh, Kurt? Yeah, I haven't get to uh, seen them today, but uh, yeah, I'm really looking to this final. There's uh, some great young kids coming through and they're looking um, fresh and uh, hitting all the jumps. It looks bad. Bring back memories, mate? A little bit, yeah. We, uh, you know, I, I would have been pulling my dax at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I could just see Billy out there on the towel, waving it around flat out, letting you know what's up. Here we go. We're about to get a start here. Junior Lies final. That was a flyer for the 04. Blake Brandon Box Steel. with the wow. with the whole shot, I think, here. Yeah. Blake Fox it is with the whole shot. Yeah, I think he's going to get credited with the whole fox. A hot sh <laughs> whole shot, man. Give him a try whole shot. Brandon Steele. Got a good jump, got a very, very good jump. See if he's going to get to the inside there at Blake Fox. It doesn't look like it's going to be done, man. This kid looks like he's got some good form at Supercross, huh? Yeah, definitely. He's got a great style, and I know he's been working with Ross Beaton with um, with just some technique stuff, and, uh, yeah, he's looking really confident out there. Jake Cuckoo locked in second place, then Steele, Wright, Wolfie, Kai Bonning, and Crutch rounding out the field at this point in time. Had a bit of an incident a little bit earlier on, so unfortunately we've... We're down a few riders out of this field. In terms of this, Kirk, in terms of the ability for these young guys to be able to ride in this series on this full-size track. Oh! oh! That was wow. a big off. Yeah. Never ceases to amaze me, though. Straight back up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah wow. the, I'm not sure what the goal is with uh, motocross riders, whether they build them tough or a little bit stupid, but we always seem to get up. You know what they say, if you're going to be stupid, you've got to be tough, right? <laughs> that's what yeah. they say, man. We definitely okay. got both. Yeah, yeah, that's us. Yeah, that's me and you right there, man. <laughs> you can be tough and I'll be stupid. How does that sound? It's perfect. So Fox from right, Kuka, steel. Wolfie, Bonning and Crutch. I want to say maybe it was Kai Bonning that went down and just bounced straight back up. So I think sometimes with these crashes as well, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. Having said that, a dirt bike's not a light thing, but when you fall off and your momentum's moving forward as opposed to a dead stop, it doesn't quite hurt as much, does it? No, definitely, but uh, it's, it's no soft surface out there, so I'm pretty sure whenever you hit the ground, it's going to hurt. So. But um, Blake Flox is looking amazing out front here, just nice and smooth, hitting his mark. That's what it's about in Supercross, isn't it? Just being consistent, hitting your marks, doing the same lap, lap in, lap out, and not worrying about anybody else on the track. Definitely at this age, it's just, um, yeah, hitting your marks, being perfect and uh, getting through the whoops. The whoops will be really intimidating at this age to just, yeah, you know, get through them every lap. And uh, it seems like most of these guys are getting through them pretty consistently. Getting some very good advice too from Ross Beaton. Like, he's, you know, he's a really, really good coach. And if anyone's going to keep it real and not pump up your tyres, it's going to be Ross Beaton, right? <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, I can definitely vouch for that. He's uh, he's let me know a few times about my uh, my riding, and uh, he definitely didn't uh, definitely didn't butter it up. Didn't butter it up. Looks like he doesn't mind the butter. Last time I saw Roscoe, he'd been in the paddock for a little while, and we, everyone let him know as well. But he's done a good job with this young Blake Fox. This kid's. He's another name, I think, here by the looks of it, Kirk. He's got, got definitely got good skills, doesn't he? Definitely, you know, Blake Fox and um, guys like you, Regan Duffy, and and there's uh, definitely some great young guys. You know, they, we we had Bales and Matovich just win the world title back uh, a few weeks ago. So we have some great depth coming through, and it's um, good to see because it, it felt like it was struggling there for a little bit, but that these guys are uh, taking it back out for us. In terms of your role with KTM, do you get to do much work with these young guys and just help them and sort of give them a bit of advice? Yeah, real little bit. It's um, it's a bit hard with the schedule that we're on, but uh, yeah, uh, normally I try and get to the Junior Aussies and uh, I didn't get to go to the Worlds this year, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's great to see what these guys are doing and, and uh, just getting to know them, you know, they're great people and have great families and uh, that's just really what this sport's about is, you know, starting out with a family and, uh, yeah, just getting to know all these young guys and uh, hopefully, like we said, they can do good things for this sport coming through. 
it's amazing how important the family is in motocross, isn't it? You know, like I know with you and particularly your dad, Billy, you guys were everywhere, you know. And apart from that, you become really good mates too, don't you, with your dad, which is cool. Yeah, definitely. That's what I mean. It's an awesome family sport and, uh, yeah, we love it. And I, I wouldn't um, trade up anything for the world. And I, I know all the motocrossers wouldn't do it either. So, you know, everyone with um, great family relations, you know, it seems like, um, you know, it just brings the family nice and close. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's awesome and, and uh, makes you a great person. And strong too, huh? Yeah. yeah, sometimes <laughs> there's strong. some tough uh, love from that. Yeah, Blake Fox out there at the moment doing a really, really good job. Didn't quite get the whole shot in this one, I don't think, but at this point in time, he is going to lead this one and he's going to lead it comprehensively. Looking down there, not sure what's going on, but still seems to be going really well. Yeah, the ruts aren't quite deep enough to grab a peg or a gear lever or something, are they? No, definitely not. It's uh, and it's pretty pretty hard pack out there. So maybe you just got a touch of dirt caught in between the peg and the gear lever or the brake lever. So he's just look like he's cruising around and he's got this one in the bag. He does look like he's cruising around, doesn't he? Just having a trail ride on a weekend. Yeah, yeah that's it. So. Yeah, it's good for him to be in a good position like that, have a big lead, and uh, just bring it home safe. Just get the back of down a notch, don't you? It's like I, I keep saying, risk versus reward. There's no reward to take a risk at this point in time. Take the win, go back yeah. to the truck, work on what you need to work on, get ready for the next one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And, uh, yeah, these guys are all riding really well, so it's, uh, it's really cool to see. And, um, yeah, it's, yeah. I think it can't be underestimated how difficult Supercross is, right? You, you look at some of these guys and, and there's, they're not at the front of the field, but in reality, to just get a Supercross accreditation. As we're seeing checkered flags are about to fly now for Blake Fox. He gets the win. Yeah, just to get a Supercross accreditation, you've got to be a really, really good racer, right? Yeah, like that double there, it's, uh, it's no small one. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you're probably doing a good 80 foot there. So definitely uh, need to have some kahunas on you doesn't need a set of kahunas, right? <laughs> and, and when you look at it, I guess it, people in the crowd look at it and go, oh, it doesn't look that gnarly. I'm like, well, you get the helmet and the boots on, bro, and have a crack, you know, stand it off that thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's why I'm not out there, you know. I've, I've laid on all the dirt more times than I've got the chicken flags. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Brad Steele. Second place now as the boys are getting their trophies on bike number 482 for the new co-engineering and Wicks Fencing. Wicks Fencing supporting this division here this weekend. Jake Cougar, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. And of course, number one, the big blue trophy and all smiles here today. You can't miss him, the rainbow warrior himself, Mr. Blake Fox, KTM Racing.